Welcome to This Week on the Skins Market, sponsored by the 30 million cases Cisco players opened last month. This week on the Skins Market, we saw continued growth in the price of liquids, a trend likely driven by the fact that Cisco is still setting player records on a regular basis. The strength of the market continues to boggle the mind, and sometimes I feel like we're in an alternative reality, but this is actually real, and bizarrely enough, doesn't even seem to be a bubble. Cases also continued their relentless grind upwards, a trend probably helped by the fact that we won't stop opening the bloody things. The movements as a result aren't really a bubble either, or at least that's what I'm hoping because I'm stuck with a bunch of breakout cases I can't sell off at the moment, but either way, the madness continues, prices continue to go up, and they don't seem like they're going to stop anytime soon. In the meantime, a massive bombshell this week was the confirmation via Richard Lewis that Source 2 is actually finally around the corner, maybe within a month, although I would really emphasize the maybe part of that. And interestingly, this has resulted in large traders in China trying to convince people to panic sell based on this idea that skins will be worthless when the new CS drops, with some success for that matter, although obviously it's a lot of crap and nothing is going to change as far as skins go. In fact, even though this update kind of changes everything, as far as skins go, it probably doesn't change anything at all. The skin economy will likely just keep on booming, even with the new update, and dear, that's not a bad thing, it's actually a very good one. It's probably just going to keep the growth continuing as far as skins go. Additionally, various items continue to be pumped this week for completely random reasons, like it's just every week these days this stuff happens. This time various Antwerp stickers basically went through an entire bubble. Solid investments here, but someone obviously got a bit too carried away and bought uh, a few too many of them for a bit too much. Also, Shattered Web Spider items started getting pumped too, allegedly due to a youth fashion trend in Russia or something like that. In any case, once you've been in the market for a while, you do get a bit desensitized to this stuff and I definitely am, but the point is, line goes up. Well, it does sometimes come back down afterwards. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. See ya.